So here we have in 67 through 70 uh, the bulk of what Juno is commanding Aeolus to do here. She says, a race unfriendly to me sails the Tyrrhenian Sea, carrying Ilium and the conquered Penates into Italy. Stir up violence in your winds and overwhelm the submerged ships or drive them in different directions or scattered and scatter their bodies on the sea. Some really beautiful rhetoric here. Um, all sorts of really great things to talk about. Um, I, when I translate this, I just cannot avoid that sing-songy, a race unfriendly to me, sails the Tyrrhenian Sea. It has nothing to do with Latin, but I like it nonetheless. Uh, here, she references the countries, the, the nations, the, the, the cities, the names. Um, it, it is so much more epic. I think she's bringing the attention of what she considers at, at stake here to Aeolus. Uh, these ships are carrying all of Ilium, all of Troy, and their Penates that have already been conquered into a resettlement in Italy. There are so many different ways that she could have said this, but choosing to use the proper nouns here, the actual city names, brings such an epic quality to what she essentially wants him to do, which is, uh, which is kill these people before they get to land. So stir up violence in your winds, uh, whim here is that wheeze, that irregular uh, word that, that is fairly common, um, and it's the accusative there with that M, that I am. And then we have an example of prolepsis, which is not all too frequent in the Aeneid, but how are you going to overwhelm or destroy ships that are already submerged? So uh, she's emphasizing how completely and utterly she wants Aeolus and his winds to devastate these ships by saying, and overwhelm them as if they have already been overwhelmed, as if they've already been submerged. And then I love the artful nature of these adjectives here and these participles. Um, so drive them scattered, diverse, different in different directions. But notice that this is masculine, and so we cannot be talking about the ships here. So we talked about the nations, we talked about the ships, now we must just be talking about the men in the ships and that is confirmed here because now she wants Aeolus and the winds to scatter their bodies on the sea.